Hey, hey, y'all. It's Maddie here with Junk in the Trunk by Maddie, bringing you a fun little quilt square craft. So I have this, um, it's 18 by 18 quilt square, and I'm taking it and cutting it in half. And we're going to make a fun little junk journal cover with it. So first you cut your quilt square in half, and then you stack those halves on top of each other. Now, you could do this one of two ways. You could make it where the, the cover is floppy, or you could do it the way I'm doing it now. I'm adding some cardboard. I have some pretty thick cardboard. I cut them to size, and we're gonna be sewing. We're gonna glue the cardboard in, and then we're gonna sew around it to create a nice hard cover. So first I start off with a little bit of Fabri-Tac and I make sure that my um, cardboard pieces are aligned where I want them. Flip them over and place them. And now we're going to place the quilt, the second part of the quilt on top and use some sewing needles and just um, fasten the quilt pieces together before we get ready to sew. And now we are ready to go. So, I'm gonna set my um, sewing machine up to do a zigzag stitch. And I'm holding that fabric down because my sewing machine tends to grab my fabric, that silly sewing machine. So I'm kind of holding my finger down in front of it to make sure it doesn't get snagged. but just a simple zigzag stitch will work. I wanted to kind of leave the whole sewing portion there for you to see, to see that I'm not a great seamstress or anything, but um, even a beginner can use a sewing machine because I am very green in the sewing world. So I'm just sewing to the outside of the cardboard that's in the middle of that fabric. I am not sewing the cardboard with my sewing machine. Not that thick stuff. I mean, I, I've sewn through paper and stuff, but not through cardboard, so. <clears throat> I showed you where there was a little hole. I will go back and fix it off camera. And there we have it. It is done. Now let's add some pretty little decorations. I have this beautiful um, little tissue paper full of all kinds of like very pretty vintage lace and doilies. I think I want to use that doily. And we're going to decorate the front of the journal. Now since there's cardboard in this, I'm not going to be sewing the doily on, but I am going to use a hefty amount of Fabri-Tac to adhere it to the front of the junk journal and as this video goes on you'll see that none of the doily gets cut off I completely glue it down and fold it inside the junk journal so that none of the doily goes to waste because it was so delicate and beautiful I wanted to make sure I saved and used the whole thing So that's the, the outside. Now we're gonna glue the inside in. So I just kind of flip that doily into the inside and make sure that any loose edges are glued down. And there we go. Now, I am the lace queen. All of my friend, all of my crafty friends know I love lace. So no project is complete without a little bit of vintage lace. I found this really pretty little uh, lace in one of the boxes I got off of eBay. So um, I only had a small amount of it, so I couldn't do all the edges, but I was able to do the two um, side edges with this lace. And again, I'm not sewing through the cardboard that's in the middle. I'm sewing to the outside of the cardboard. So when you cut your cardboard for your junk journal cover, make sure you have a good um, margin to the inside of the um, outer line of the quilt square so that you can sew it easily and not accidentally sew the cardboard because that might break your sewing needle on your machine 
Now I'm using an old hanky to make a little corner pocket with. I felt like the interior needed a little something extra, so I cut up an old hanky that had an embroidered rose on it and made it into a corner pocket. And this quick and easy little project is complete. The entire project from start to finish took me 30 minutes, guys. 30 minutes to this adorable little cover. Y'all have fun. Let me know if you try it out. Bye-bye.